Okay guys, so <clears throat> this is another video wearing the spy glasses. They're not really spy glasses, it's just a tiny little camera in a pair of sort of sports sunglasses. Um, again, I've removed the lenses of these glasses. Um, I'm actually a, a prescription glasses wearer, so having sunglasses that aren't prescription can be a little bit annoying, especially in this light condition. I'm recording at the moment at 5.30 uh, February the 14th, Valentine's Day. Um, I'm heading north from where I live, um, about 25 miles. And uh, the purpose of this video, I suppose, is to test the spy glasses, in inverted commas, uh, in sort of twilight conditions. I did do a video earlier on in this journey, which I'll probably post, I've uh, probably already posted, should I say, if you're watching this. Um, so check that out in my channel. Um, that video covered basically a slightly lighter time. It's probably about five o'clock when uh, ten past five on February the 14th when I recorded the last video. Um, light conditions were better. I kind of run through rambling, ran through what I've done to the glasses, how they're set up. So if you want to know more about the glasses themselves, check out the other video. Um, if I can remember where I bought them from, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but this video is going to cover literally just my favourite part of this journey that I do. Um, there's some roadworks, which unfortunately means it's not so exciting. There's speed restrictions, uh, dropping the national speed limit of 60 miles an hour in the UK down to 50 and 40 and in some places 30. So um, what's normally I think 50 along this stretch, uh, I'm going to be probably driving a little slower, but it's my favourite little wiggly part of a daily journey I do. Um, as I said, the secondary reason for recording this is again to test the camera out in a different lighting condition. They're really cheap glasses um, with an integrated camera. It's not HD resolution. The contrast and the saturation isn't on par with the average handheld camera you can buy. Um, there are, I'm sure, other models of these glasses which I will be looking for. I'd like something HD something with a little bit more options maybe so that I can choose how I want the camera to record whether it be full HD resolution or standard definition so I can get more video footage out of it for the same amount of memory used on the memory card. I would also like something that maybe you can put an external mic on. Uh, that may have to be a modification. This is my favourite little wiggle. Whee! Um, yeah, maybe something I can install an external mic on. It might have to be a modification because the mic that's integrated into these is currently mounted in the arm of the glasses, which for avoiding my voice popping too much is fantastic because it's out of the way, out of my line of voice. But the downside is when you're outside, when it's windy environment, it's really hard to know what that microphone is going to receive, whether it's going to be all wind, whether it's going to be really crisp and clean, or whether just, you know, if the wind's blowing towards me, face on, you might find that it completely mutes my voice, which completely ruins the whole purpose of making videos, you know, it's nice to have everything in the first instance, so there's less work to do when you're editing videos and having to do a video monologue on top of a video you've already recorded and already spoken over. So this video is literally just driving in twilight conditions, it's getting darker, everyone's putting their headlights on, which is good, it doesn't always happen. Um, and I just thought that if I did this little video on my favourite little wiggly stretch of road, it'd be something that I could watch through that wouldn't be so terribly boring for you guys to watch through. And just to see how capable this camera is. It's nice and cheap. Everybody's happy. Oh dear. There's been a bump. 
but yeah so the perspective as well is quite fun this camera is really cheap so it won't adjust I said that in the other video um, one thing I would like to do is increase the field of view because I know that I can see both of my wing mirrors in the peripheral of my vision but I'm guessing just from using these, this camera before you guys watching this video can probably only see a, a portion a portion of what I can see so if I can modify these in some fashion to get a better field of view I've already done that slightly the hole that the camera sits behind uh, I've actually bored that hole out even more so that it doesn't restrict at all the vision there was a weird kind of fringing on the edges so that doesn't happen anymore um, if I can get some help from somebody if any of you guys know uh, lenses at all how I could re-lens this camera it's not a DSLR don't go telling me that you can buy interchangeable lenses don't go telling me that it's impossible anything is possible you just have to have the right knowledge behind it so if anyone knows how to modify a cheap camera a fixed focal length fixed aperture camera even if it's a bead of resin a bead of resin that's polished down to the correct uh, shape the correct doming shape just to give this a fraction more viewing angle um, I'd be great I'd be really grateful to hear about it um, I'll do some experiments I'll do some videos of what I've done I'll mention whoever it is that offers any advice I'll give full credit to um, um, but if you can just give us a hand that would be fantastic it's getting a lot darker now it's probably it's 5.45 now so 15 minutes about 10 minutes actually has gone by that'd be really helpful if you could help us out anyway uh, subscribe comments in the comments below if you have any suggestions for other bits and pieces you want to see you want to see me experiment with with these glasses any ideas for recommendations please just add it in the comments below and uh, I'll try and sort a video for you guys cheers